and just do this in three, two, one. And wow, let's check out what happened, guys. Let's check that out real quick. Oh, that was loud. And take a look at that. Ooh. So let's have some fun. And that, and that, guys, is how you destroy an iPhone 6. Check that out. Yeah, we're good, we're good. And you can see it's on. Let's go ahead and see what happens, guys. Oh, shit. So it's about to eat it up, as you can see. Active flow. Guys, I'm, sh I'm shaking so much right now. It's pretty much halfway eaten that. Hey, get the stick anyways, maybe you can poke it out. But I don't think so. So as you can see, guys, it's almost completely over. Hey, you want to get the stick maybe? Maybe you'll eat it up. Almost, yeah, yeah. Probably win. Yeah. It's a little bit. Oh, it's starting to catch on fire. Oh, shit, that's hard. Just so you know, we have permission from local authorities to perform this test and we do not encourage you to try this at home because dropping a phone from 900 feet in the air can be a very dangerous thing. This is the worst one, dude. The whole thing came up. Look at this. Russian heritage, and I'm gonna be making my Russian heritage proud today by destroying up to eight iPhones. I'm gonna see which phone the bullet will stop at. I've got three six pluses, a couple iPhone sixes, and smaller ones, and an S6 in the very back, uh, just in case. But I don't expect it to get past four. The bullet, I think, will deflect, and who knows, but let's just see what happens. And how many iPhones would you have to have in your pocket in order to save your life? One. This time, when shooting in the middle, the bullet managed to punch its way through five iPhones and land on the sixth. All right, so one. Okay, so what? Uh, Check it out. Number one. 